So in an unexpected release, Apple just dropped iOS 18.0.1, as you can see here, and this is that dot dot release we've been waiting on. This has the final release for iOS 18 for the M4 iPads. It has the fixes for the iPhone 16 series touchscreen issues, and it has camera improvements as well, all of which are listed here as you can see. Let's go ahead and jump into this, take a look at the build number, and go from there. Let's go. Okay, iOS 18.0.1 just finished installing on our iPhone 16 series, as you can see right there. Let's go ahead and actually do our temperature check before we jump into it. So my first call out that I wanna let you guys know, if you're new to the channel, we love checking the temperature after updates simply because how historically bad iPhones have been uh, with heat disbursement and management. And with the 16 series, that was supposed to improve. However, as you can see here, it is still coming in quite warm at over 104 degrees, uh, no matter where you're looking on the phone from when the update completed. Now, obviously it's dropping, it could go back up in certain areas, but it is still getting quite warm. I was hoping that new heat disbursement and new copper engine inside to help with this was gonna be a little better, uh, but apparently that is still not the case. No big deal there. So let's jump right into this. And first things first, we are going to go ahead and get into settings, go under general and about, and we can see iOS 18.0.1 has a new build number of 22A3370. And one thing I really do want to read to you are actually, for once, decent release notes for what's been fixed here. And as you can see, one of the big callouts specific to the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro models are the touchscreen responsiveness issues. Um, there's been certain circumstances when you would just go to click on things on the screen and it would not want to load up. That's supposedly fixed here. One call out, if you are running the iOS 18.1 betas, this is currently not present and we have had some issues on our 16 Pro Max over here uh, doing the same thing. So we're ready for the next beta for this to fix that. Camera may freeze when recording macro mode video on the ultra wide camera in 4K with HDR turned off on the iPhone 16 Pro models. We didn't ever experience that. Messages may unexpected, unexpectedly quit when replying to a message with a shared Apple watch face, and performance may be impacted due to an issue with memory allocation on some iPhone models. So those were the main things listed, but probably one of the biggest news here is that for the first time, iOS 18 is now available on the M4 iPad Pro. It's been very strange that since release, this wasn't currently visible. Now it is, now it's applicable, and you can now download iOS 18 if you have an M4 iPad Pro. One thing that we do normally look at as well is battery here to check out battery health. Obviously, with a new phone, this isn't gonna change. Still at 100% and only three cycle counts, so take that for what you want currently as well. One other thing with this build, and just kind of scrolling around, you can see we haven't had any real issues yet. Uh, is that there will not be any new features, so to speak, in this build. Again, it is a double dot release, which means it's simply going to be bug fixes. And you can see kind of jumping around, everything is working pretty smoothly here with no issues at all. So I will say, let's jump into photos. I want to show you this one thing really quick here. On that build, it was a little under 500 megabytes just so you guys know what to expect here. But messages quitting, we never had an issue with. The camera freezing, we didn't either in macro mode. Let me actually go back to that really quick to show you. 5X, HDR is on here. Let me see if I can pull this up. And it won't actually do that on the 16. You need a pro model for that as well, but zooming in and taking a picture still is working perfectly fine here. We did experience something else in the photo gallery with iOS 18 where the photos would show up very tiny like that unless you actually had to blow them up each time you went to view it or pulled up the photo album itself. It looks like that has since been fixed as well. So nothing else to really see on this new build. We'll keep this video short and sweet. If you have a 16 or 16 Pro Max, you guys might want to look at getting this one right now on your phone to ensure a little bit more stability improvements. 
Also released today was watchOS 11.0.1. For those of you who may be experiencing some issues with your Apple Watch running watchOS 11, we didn't have any issues with those. We did just drop another video in regards to watchOS 11.1 beta 3 that just got pulled since it was full of issues. But aside from that, comment down below how your iPhone 16 series device has been working since you've bought it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.